Hello, today we're going to look at an example of referencing a web page. We're working on the assumption that you've uh, been doing your essay, your article, whatever, um, and in the references list at end you've just pasted in um, an address of something that you want to use. So what we're going to do is go to that address and find some information um, and create a proper reference. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know is who's uh, done this page. Now, um, if as we look down the page, there is actually no author. This is what's known as published by the institution. If you look at the articles here, we've got a top story that we can click on and that's done by Jessica Shepherd, the education uh, correspondent but this page hasn't got an author so the author is actually the institution in this case the Guardian second thing we need to find out is when it was published now um, organizations are getting much better at this uh, what you have to do is usually scroll down to the bottom and it will tell you a copyright terms 2011 in this case again if we look at this story uh, we'd see that it says at the top 6 of October but our page the one that we want to reference is um, done by the Guardian and it's done in 2011 so we go back to our document and we go that the publisher is the Guardian we don't put the um, as just too clunky um, th things like the Telegraph, the Times, the Mail, um, you uh, use the title of the publication without the the. And then we know it's done in 2011. That's the start of our reference. The next thing we need to know is the title of the page. So if you look at the tab on your web browser, you see there's a really long um, set of information like our education news uh, including university guide now we might use that if the page had got no information on at all but in our case it's got a title very clearly the title which is higher education yep that's our title of this page higher education now in this case it's not the title of a publication It's just the title of that article on the publication. And so in this case, it's not italicized like the title of a book or the title of a magazine. It's done as um, an article inside quotes, in this case, inside double quotes. Um, now, the next thing we do with this is we put the web address and we put a available at, then we put in the web page. we put a space and we put accessed at in this case 9th of October 2011 now if we just change our font a little bit you should see that that fits together uh, quite nicely and that's what I would consider to be a good online uh, page reference of this sort of page. Now, some people would put online. Some systems uh, require you to put that. But I think increasingly it's obvious when it's online. Everybody in the world knows the HTTP, unless you live in, in a Brazilian uh, uh, forest uh, all your life. So I think that's fairly straightforward. So we don't need that every time. Uh, we've got so where it's available as a web resource, and we've got what uh, date it was accessed. Now that's vital because the page can change in the meantime, or the page can disappear. And there are actually people that um, save uh, web pages um, and archive uh, the internet. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, take a quote from this page. If we can find a quote which is actually from this page. 
so we'll have um, Cambridge tops the Guardian league table Cambridge is better than Oxford says the Guardian okay so um, Cambridge currently uh, is better academically than Oxford according to one website now as you can see that's a paraphrase there's no exact quote in there um, it's a way a paraphrase is a way of saying the same thing as an article saying but in your own words and then we're going to reference that we're going to do an in-text reference to that um, in this case whatever is there the first bit should match the name in our reference list now in this case it's the name of the organization Guardian but if say it was written by someone called Fred Jones that would say Jones in the top bit and the bottom bit would say Jones comma F full stop and wherever we've got 2011 there we need for that reference to be replicated there so using those two bits of information you can look it up in your reference list uh, and that is one example of Harvard referencing for a web page thank you